What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build, a place where we believe home is where you hang your hat as long as there's whiskey in the cabinet. In this video, we will be making a coat rack or a set of coat hooks to hang on the wall. In this video, I will use some advanced techniques. This could very easily be simplified down to strictly a board with a shishigi bomb finish and some hooks on it. But here at Build That Build, even when we're doing a simple project, we gotta put our own spin on it. We gotta give it a little bit of that rock and roll, a little bit of that funkiness that we love. Also check out the, uh, the new shirts, Cupcake Army. If you don't know who the Cupcake Army is, you're not following my Instagram stories. You should. So let's get to work. Basically what we're gonna be doing is making a area to hang your coats and hats. I'm gonna be using a one by six. Not gonna provide measurements for this because it's gonna depend on where you're putting it in the house and how many hooks you're putting on it. But here's what we're trying to do. Let me take you off here. All right, so right inside this door, the magic door of the house, right? There is a little mud area. See this thing? It's got like three hooks right there. I need like six. And these aren't even mounted in here very well. Uh, this obviously one of the screws has broken off of this. So I'm gonna put that across this area right here. And since I have some extra area, I figured I'd do a little plaque that had our last name on it. I also had kind of mentioned that there was three hooks there and that just seems like an odd number to me. I had a follower on Instagram tell me that apparently like odd numbers or some sort of weird feng shui business or whatnot. Here's the deal. I need six hooks. This is Bill Dad Bill. Feng shui, meng shui. Now let's get to work. All right, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Something I'm not proud of. Just kidding. This design, what I just did with the die grinder, I got that idea while I was making the sign. I was trying to figure out, I'm kind of super bright right now, so I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I was trying to figure out a way to kind of frame this out. Um, and I wanted something to kind of be a little bit different than the lettering, of course. But originally I had made the uh, board for the coat rack first and it looked like this. But once I did this, this sucked. So I went ahead and remade this. So this is where the coat rack is gonna go now. I tell you that because I don't always go into these projects knowing exactly what I wanna do. Don't be afraid to change it up if something seems like it's working better. Ooh, that's better. Whew. Sorry, sun just went behind the cloud. Um, don't be afraid to change your design up if it suits you. Work with the piece. Make sure that uh, just because you had it in your head to begin with that it's not the end all be all. Uh, because this, with this, it's gonna look a lot better than this with this. I'm still in here. Hello. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Please allow me to inner stank myself. I'm a man who needs no inner stanction. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. That was Rolling Stones, by the way. Let's burn this thing. Focus on. All right, guys, I am on my third draft of this now. Let me take you through how this went down. I had, <clears throat> I originally had carved this for the coat hooks, 
and carved it and burnt it and then brushed it, but I was okay with that until, until I made this, which I was originally planning on doing this too. I was going to carve, that's my last name by the way. I don't know if I said that. I was originally gonna carve this in here. I was gonna fill this with epoxy and then I was gonna sand this down and just burn around the edges. But I like the way the carve looks so well that I just went ahead and burnt the face of this, sanded this back out. But now the problem is it doesn't look anything like this. So I didn't think it would go well together. So my second draft was this one. So this one has the same edge as the sign does because I wanted them to match. But the problem was I burnt this deep and brushed it. So it gave it that darker tone to it. So again, I'm stuck with something that doesn't look like this. So I went ahead and scrapped this one too. Which leads me to my third draft, which is this guy right here. I also went with a one by four. Uh, I originally still got a little soft on it, man. I'd originally gone by with the one by six for both of them. As I held these up though to the wall, it looked a little crowded. So I figured a one by four for the hooks would work better. So I wanted to include this in this video because I just wanted to show you guys that it's not always the first one that works or the first idea that pops into your head that's gonna be the one that you're actually gonna use. Okay, so now all we have to do is hang the stuff up. So uh, let's, uh, let's head on inside. All right, sorry about the lighting and it's probably a little echoey in here. Okay, now I got lucky. When I bought the hooks that I'm gonna hang up here, the screws are long enough that they're gonna go through this board and they're gonna give me plenty of purchase into this behind it. By the way, that is particle board. I thought it was wood, but it'll give me plenty to anchor to. Now, pro tip, if you don't have that kind of situation going on, if you have short screws, where you're actually gonna screw the hook into like this, if you countersink a hole right here, you can attach, use those as attachment points into the wall, and then the hook will actually cover up those screws so you won't see them. Groovy? Goddamn right. So, so once again, in true build dead build fashion, we took a one day project, turned it into like a three day project and made it way over complicated. But I really wanted you guys to understand kind of the creative process when you sit down and you're not sure exactly what you want to do, but you want to do something, <laughs> right? I think I pretty much touched on any sort of issues that I had during the video. So not really going to bore you with that. I really like the way it looks. Uh, I'm getting a lot better at doing uh, some carving with the Dremel and uh, with my router and things like that. So if you guys want to see like maybe like tutorial videos or how-to videos on how to carve stuff like that uh, with a little bit more detail, I can definitely do that. I also just picked up a die grinder, so I've been learning how to work with that as well. But if you guys want to see any of that stuff, let me know in the comments down below if there's something along those lines that is escaping you or you want to know more about, let me know. I know I kind of speed through some of that stuff, but to me, like watching somebody carve a sign with a Dremel or a router is, is kind of boring, but I know how to do it. So tips or tricks or something like that, if you guys want to see those, just let me know. And guys, that's about it. I mean, short video this week, but uh, it's also a pretty easy project. So um, go out and make coat rack hook thingies to hang on the wall. But before you go, I do want to say thank you to all my patrons right down here. You guys are awesome. Love ya. Uh, especially Nick the Greek, Stephen Mann, and Easy E, Eric Weiss. Cheers. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And until next time, thanks for playing. And now I gotta get to work.